In today's episode, I'm gonna be building a building for our item and fluid storage, and I'm gonna give you a tour of the place, and we're gonna be discussing the plans for the next episode. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And let's go in today's episode. Now, why are we building an item slash fluid facility? Because I wanna keep my fluids and my items in the same place. For example, I want my network storage to be here, all of it here, and my items fluids, for example, lava, biodiesel, and maybe water, or any types of fluids in one space. So I can go there, check on my fluids, and check if it full or not but before that i've been busy so in between episodes i've been fk up there for a couple of hours maybe five hours or six hours and i've been collecting some blaze rods and some experience the experience goes to here to this disenchanter goes to this foot pipe and then this into this tank as you can see we have 59,642 milli buckets of xp that's 52 buckets worth of experience so if i want to get my experience out i just call this get my experience just like that as you can see simple if i want to repair my tools and you just hold it and then hold this and with mending i can easily repair all my tools and if i don't want this experience right now i can just disenchant it right here and i can just train all of my xp as you can see and the blaze farm is doing good no hiccups or whatsoever and i added a switch right here that kills all of the deployers and the fans so i could do some maintenance inside of there let me turn that back on actually i'm gonna turn that off because i'm not gonna afk here and what i noticed in between episodes is oh i added a switch right here to turn off this what i noticed in between episodes we i shrunken the size of the diesel engines as you can see there are only three rows previous episode there are five but we're making a lot of stress units as you can see our total capacity is 229,376 stress units but this line is only doing 14,336 units. So 14,336 times 3 is only 43,008. But this is 229,000. Which is what I like about diesel engines. Because over time they increase the stress units. I don't know is that a feature or a bug. Let me know in the comments section down below. But on to today's episode. We're going to be building a building. So I have marked it right here. I only have a frame where I'm going to build it. And this is the right dimension. As you can see it's overlapping these two buildings right here. I'm planning I'm gonna have a pathway all around here at the back and then there's gonna be another building right here and another building right over here and another building right over here in the near future so we can expand our factory district so that's enough of me talking let's go to building this building finish building the building let me give you a tour in the inside of the building I just built so when you enter the building as you can see it's not finished just yet because I don't know what to put on our ceiling. If we go through here, we have stairs going down. This is where going to be all the item transport and the fluid transport is going to be happening. And if we go through here, we have a stairs going up and up. Going here, there are, there are offices right here that I have decorated as you can see I manage this place and same right here there's an office right here and right here I don't know maybe a storage room or something and as you can see there are ceilings that are not done because I don't know what to put in the ceilings and I need your opinion down below in the comment section what to put as a ceiling block and if you come through here maybe this will be my temporary like bedroom or something and through here this spot right here is gonna be my me system and as you can see there are massive fluid tanks back here holding 648 millibuckets worth of fluids and i'm thinking this is gonna be lava water and biofuel light right here 
and yeah that is the building actually there's gonna be a third floor but i don't know what to put there i ran out of ideas so so i'm just gonna move my storage just like so put a temper block down let's go put a controller there test drives like that let's get our crafting grid just like so let's put this on top just like that and their controller just like that and we don't currently have power we have but it's disappearing we don't have it hooked up right now let's put the wireless transmission back here with all the upgrades and in between episodes i have built me a portable drill with enchantments that's basically it so i'm gonna hook up power to this which i'm gonna build me some more energy lines i'll be back with you guys i've finished cabling up as you can see i built another electrical post right here and right here connecting to right here to the side of the building and connecting it to our emmy system what i want to do next is pretty simple actually i want to make me a 64k drive another one because this is gonna be not enough when i'm done with putting all of our stuff for example andesite right there and our andesite andesite alloy and andesite right there and i need to make a fluid storage i think um i don't really know how that works um let me do a little search yeah there is a fluid storage this i know it stores fluid but i don't know how but i wanna store our fluids right here so i can easily access them down below or put them or in another system and i want to make an infinite supply of these things right here plant oil biodiesel and ethanol and it's gonna connect to these tanks right here and right here and also i'm gonna make in the next episode i have to make cave system going from the tree farm all the way through here using belts and also the blaze farm and its experience next episode is gonna be a hell of an episode but i'm afraid that's all the time i have for today's episode i need to do a lot of work in between episodes trying to figure out what's the best solution that i could use for for our storage unit but that's gonna be it for me guys it's chilly and i'm out